Let's start today with the continued controversy surrounding Chrissy Teigen. She's issued yet another apology after claims of online bullying, and now another public figure is piling on. Uh, let's circle back to the apology which Chrissy first posted after Courtney Stodden revealed alleged DMs from the supermodel sent in 2011. Courtney told the Daily Beast that Chrissy would privately DM them on Twitter, telling them to take a dirt nap that she couldn't wait for Courtney to die. A few days after the reveal, Chrissy apologized to Courtney publicly on Twitter, calling herself an insecure, attention seeking troll. She then took a break from social media, and now we are getting a more lengthy apology. Yep, Chrissy posted this one to Medium Platform on Monday, and she goes in depth about her very humbling few weeks. That's what she calls it. She writes in, in part, quote, I know I've been quiet, and Lord knows you don't want to hear about me, but I want you to know that I've been sitting in a hole of well-deserved global punishment, the ultimate sit here and think about what you've done. Not a day... Not a single moment has passed where I haven't felt the crushing weight of regret for the things that I've said in the past. She goes on to say that, quote, my targets didn't deserve them. No one does. Many of them needed empathy, kindness, understanding, and support. Not my meanness masquerading as a kind of casual, edgy humor. I was a troll, full stop, and I am so sorry. Chrissy also mentions in her essay that she is in the process of privately reaching out to people she insulted, and she ch is truly ashamed by her past mean-spirited tweets, noting that, quote, there is no excuse. Yeah, and following Chrissy's essay, the model and the mom posted a photo in a long caption uh, to show a new tattoo that her and John Legend's daughter, five-year-old Luna, actually drew by hand. You're seeing it right here. It's a butterfly, and in the caption, she reflects, saying in part, what I've learned just in the past few months, and I feel a wealth of gratitude for life alone and those unimaginable, unimaginable bonds. Love you all to bits, I really do. Even if you hate me, I can honestly say I do not hate you. I send you love. How annoying is that, she goes on to say. You must be so annoyed. Anywho, love you, love you, love you. Here's to the messes in progress. Mm. Well, the allegations don't end there for Chrissy. Mm. On Monday afternoon, after Chrissy's public apology, fashion designer and Project Runway alum Michael Costello took to Instagram to tell the world he's had thoughts of suicide, claiming he was blacklisted because of Chrissy and her stylist Monica Rose. Michael posted multiple slides to his socials accounts, to a social account telling his side of the story, referencing a 2014 comment in which Chrissy allegedly called Michael a racist after he was falsely accused of using the N-word. He posted the alleged screenshots of he and Chrissy's conversation. One of the messages from Chrissy says this, get your ears ready, it says, quote, mm -hmm. racist people like you deserve to suffer and die. You might as well be dead. Your career is over, just watch. If your mouth dropped like mine did, close it. That was deep. Um, but Costello claims that Chrissy and Monica conspired against him through their connections. And over the next few years, he was pulled off jobs with no explanation. Mm -hmm. Up until then, he was dressing A-list celebs like Beyonce, Kim right. K, and J-Lo. I mean, he is a notable fashion designer and public figure. So for him to uh, drop those alleged DMs, or texts, I should say, is shocking. And in the meantime, Michael did make a statement to ET saying, I want to be clear. I do not wish ill on anyone. We are all works in progress, and we deserve the opportunity to prove that we can do better. But progress takes time. We must show through actions that we have changed. And after all, actions speak much louder than a 10-minute apology written on a notepad. He goes on to say that I'm still waiting for Chrissy Teigen and anyone who bullied me to reach out to me. If they truly acknowledge that their actions are wrong, I welcome them with open arms to have a real conversation. Meanwhile, a source tells ET that Monica Rose never bullied Michael Costello or told people not to work with him. She just simply didn't like his clothes, so she didn't pull from him for clients. That's all it was. Monica is extremely upset about these allegations against her. Quickly, Mel, obviously this is some tough things to witness and obviously knowing what Chrissy has been through in the past year, what do you think Chrissy's next move should be? Call Michael. Mm. I mean, it's a tough question. I honestly don't have an answer to that. Yeah. And I would be, I wouldn't be surprised if her publicist is super stressed right now. Right. I will just say this. My biggest takeaway from all of this is that we just, we have to be mindful of how much power our words have over people right. and also be mindful of how much power we give to people in their words. You know, Michael said that he thought about taking his life because of right. what someone 
said about him that affected his career. I know it's easier said than done, but no one deserves to have that much power over you. And that reaction from Michael is something that we know Chrissy can relate to because she recently yeah. also opened up how, before all of this went down, how she needed to take a step back from the cruel world of Twitter. You know, she said she couldn't, she's more sensitive than she lets on. And so, you know, people's words had an effect on her the way that her words had an effect on Michael. And, you know, this is not an excuse, but I think it's also uh, a situation where hurt people hurt people. Uh, and so for, mm -hmm. I, I think Chrissy definitely needs to keep, I, I feel like she needs to take a longer break from social media, yes. focus on her family, and also focus on her mental health, uh, you know? And then also really, like you said, uh, holding herself accountable and making those phone calls and apologizing.